Moving on to learning styles. I want to talk about some learning styles and there are three main learning styles that I'm going to talk about. Th just three main ones. The first type of learning styles are visual learners. Visual learners are those who like to learn through their sense of sight. Colors, patterns, and shapes are important to them. Auditory learners, they like to learn through their sense of hearing. Sounds and tones are important to the auditory learner. Our kinesthetic learners, these are individuals who learn best through motion or through doing. Now these are the three, oh, excuse me, feelings, uh, touching, texture, motions are all, all important to the, the visual uh, kinesthetic learners. These are the three main type of learning. When I talk about learning styles, I'm really talking about learning preferences. You're not stuck in to any particular learning style, but a preference for learning. No matter how visual you are, you can still learn auditory and kinesthetically. No matter how kinesthetic you are, you can still learn visually and auditorily. You have preferences for how you learn. You're not stuck into any particular one. You know, the, the visual learners and the auditory learners usually have a little bit easier time in classroom because classrooms are set up for the visual and auditory learners. Frequently, there's not a lot of kinesthetic things that we do in classroom. It's not a lot of moving, not a lot of hands-on. Uh, visual learners frequently like to watch television, watch movies. Auditory learners uh, will have stereos going all the time. Kinesthetic people are frequently fidgeting and moving all the time. These are, are just learning styles. They permeate your entire life, not just how you learn at school or how you learn at work. There's also sub-learning styles. Visual, auditory, and kinesthetic were our main learning styles. There's a whole slew of sub-learning styles, many, many different types of sub-learning styles. Uh, for this course, I'm only going to talk about four of the sub-learning styles. I will only hold you accountable for four, only give quizzes or exams on these four sub-learning styles. The first one is interpersonal learners. Interpersonal learners are those who like to join groups, be part of a group. Uh, they like it when the classroom breaks down in, into group work and do group. They want to solve problems as part of a group. Typically, the interpersonal learners have the best social skills. And they need those social skills in order to keep people around them. Just the opposite of the interpersonal learners is the intrapersonal learners. Intrapersonal learners are those people who hate to join groups. They'd rather work on their own. They uh, don't like it when the class breaks up into group work. But would probably rather be an entrepreneur than be an employee somewhere. Inter you know, the intrapersonal learner uh, would, would probably enjoy the online learning much more than they would enjoy the in-classroom learning because they can be there all by themselves doing the aspects of work. The, the next two we're going to get of sub-learning styles. The, the first one is the logical mathematical learner. The logical mathematical learner, they're the individuals who like numbers, like math, like logic problems. The ones who want to take something apart and see what makes it tick. Uh, the type of person that will subscribe to the newspaper just for the puzzle page in the newspaper. Uh, a Sudoku. Uh, for those of you who know Sudoku puzzles, definitely a logical mathematical thing. The next one is our verbal linguistic learners. Verbal linguistic learners learn best through reading, writing, or dialogue. They want to uh, talk about a problem. They want to read and write about it, get in discussions about something. They learn best through a reading, writing, and dialogue. Now, the four main learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. And then there are excuse me, three main learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. And the four sub-learning styles, uh, mathematical, logical, verbal, linguistic, interpersonal, and intrapersonal. And they overlap. You could very, very easily be a verbal, linguistic, mathematical, logical, kinesthetic learner, uh, a visual, interpersonal, verbal, linguistic learner. They all overlap in these things. And again, these learning styles are really learning preferences just how we would prefer to learn. We're not, they're not cast in stone. You can, no matter how uh, interpersonal learner you are, you can still learn by yourself. No matter how much of an intrapersonal learner you are, you can still learn in groups. 
even if you're a mathematical logical learner, you can still learn uh, through reading, writing, and dialogue. So that you're not stuck in these particular areas. And we all have some degree of each of them. No, no one is just solely visual learner or solely kinesthetic learner. And we can switch back and forth. For example, no matter how kinesthetic learner you are, in classroom you might have to turn down that kinesthetic learning and turn on your visual and auditory learning. Many times uh, you need to learn through reading and writing. And you can turn up your, your verbal linguistic learning and turn down your, your mathematical logical learning and learn accordingly to the situation that's involved. So we can switch back and forth. There are just preferences of how we prefer to learn. The next little section here is talking about differences in brains. That your brain's divided into two major sections. You have a left brain and you have a right brain. The two brains process information totally differently. Your left brain, it processes your logical information, your language information, all your linear thought, that step by step by step stuff, and all the little details are over in your left brain. Your right brain, however, it processes your visual information, it processes your emotional information. Your right brain is more intuitive, and your right brain is more creative. Where the left brain sees little details, the right brain sees the big picture. You're, when you look at a forest, your, your right brain is going to see this wonderful, beautiful forest. Your left brain is going to see a bunch of trees. When you look at a picture, uh, your, your right brain is going to see this wonderful, beautiful picture. Your left brain says, this is a picture of something. Different areas of, of processing your, your brains. And we're going to come back to this later in the course back to this, knowing uh, that your brains process information differently can help you with your creativity, with your goal achievement, with how you study, with how you take your notes. This actually has some practical applications to it.